Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? You know who it is. I'm Mr. Warmack. I'm definitely in the building. And I'm uh, doing that thing it is that I do. You know, I'm just talking about life in general, trying to give you guys advice, trying to help y'all out. So... Let's go in. So, first of all, let me talk about something. Little piece of, let me talk about these creeps that I get on my in inbox. First of all, to the, there's a couple of these little, little crybabies and whiners calling me bootleg. <laughs> they, 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 they call, he called me bootleg because of these. He said I wear bootleg sunglasses. You know, you know the stuff you get in the African joints and the Arab joints. You know, the, the, the plastic ones. That's what dude called me. Call me bootleg, but uh, let me tell you something, dude. This is not bootleg. It's not bootleg. All the way down to the, all the way down to the felt, bro. Trust me, it's not bootleg. If it's bootleg, then then they got me because I overpaid. Back to lecture that. I want to talk about things that I see. And this is I want to talk about something that's a real life shit. So I, I gotta cut down on this the swearing thing. Although I don't swear as much as I used to, but I see a lot on. Let me let me talk. Let me say this, and I, cause I'm thinking about how I want to say it, but there's no way I'm just gonna say it. Come on, say it. People don't want help. I've come to find that out. A majority of people majority of you don't want help. Now, let me preface that by saying, I'm not saying everybody, I'm not saying it's it's impossible for everybody, no. I'm just saying general statement, rhetorical statement, a lot of you don't want help. It, it's, it's, it's fact. Facts. It's, it's religion. It's true. And let me go in and show you, I'll use your own videos and your own foolery against you. Now, you, you, you see these people making all these videos, pro and con to whatever topic you want to talk about. Now, there's people that make videos, don't like what I say, so they make their videos against what I say. And I have no problem with that. But when I start watching these videos, see I'm the type of person, I have no problem with you challenging me on my opinion. Because my, pet, my stance will always be consistent. I have no problem with that. But the problem you'll find with some of these from some of these buffoons is uh, you start challenging them on their position. They either they backpedal faster than Rod Woodson and Deion Sanders, or they just going to answer you or they'll try to talk around the circles. And, or and here's another common trait of these jerk offs: they'll make videos complaining, 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 but listen for their solution. And when I say a solution, I don't mean they have to give you a, an overwhelming solution. I mean, I mean, try. You know what I mean? Just, just give me, give me a, just, just give me. If you bitch, you bitch, you bitch, you bitch. You think something's gonna change? If all you got is complaints, how are you gonna change if you got nothing, nothing, to, nothing to show for you outside of complaints? The only part you can't, well, really, if you got, you got to change something, that means you have to do a little bit of work. It don't mean coming on here crying, it don't come here coming here whining, it don't mean doing the old favor blaming the next man for your inconsistencies, it don't mean blaming the next man for your faults, it don't mean blaming the next, next man because you mess up all the time. And let me tell you folks something, you, you know what this, a uh, mistake is? A mistake is something that happens maybe once or twice. If you do something continuously that's bad, you're just stupid. And I'm, I'm, that's, that's, that's how it is. You know, I see people say, oh, well, oh, nothing happens right in life for me. Well, a lot of you are just stupid. A lot of you just, what you do is, a lot of you, a lot of you are, how they say, you ass back. A lot of you do something that's real stupid that you don't think is going to hurt you. Then when it comes back, it hurts you. A lot of you just don't, a lot of you don't just don't, you just don't hurt, you're stupid. I mean, I hate to say that, but what can I say? I, I'm tired of being nice about it. I'm tired of saying, well, well maybe maybe there's some other reason. No, there's no other reason. If, if you follow your same pattern, and your pattern is, let me put it this way. 
If there's a big sinkhole like 10 feet in front of you, and you keep walking straight every time into the sinkhole, there's only one or two things gonna happen. You're gonna either learn to walk around that fucking sinkhole, or you're gonna keep walking in the sinkhole and get hurt or killed. Now, if you keep, get, keep walking in that sinkhole and getting hurt and killed, whose fault is that? When you know there's a sinkhole in front of you. It's just stupid. And then what you do, you bring you bring these like these problems to, to the, the, the others and myself to solve for you. And then you when you ask for your help, you're like, the the what well, just to solve them? I'm getting a handout. And that's the problem. A lot of y'all took these handouts from the government and from other entities, and then and then you get mad because you, you don't have nothing to show for it. The, the, the government is not going to, they're not supposed to take care of you like that. If you, if you rely on the government to take care of you like that, don't get mad because now you you got nothing to show for it. There's a lot of to see. I, I run around with doers. It's all right to be a dreamer. But that's one of the biggest problems. And I'm going to use a black community for this one. That's one of the biggest problems in the black community. Everybody's a dreamer and there's not enough doers. And the doers are the ones who get maligned. The doers are the ones who get scrutinized. The doers are the ones who get hated on. The doers are the ones that they're, they're so jealous and envy against them. If you're a doer in the black community, you're as best as to shut your mouth and do it under the covers or do it behind the scenes until you blow up. That's the way you do it. You don't tell nobody else because they're all nothing but haters. And what, what, what it is is you get these you get these people, oh my life is this, my life is that. So go look at some of your Facebook friends. Go look at some of your Facebook friends' friends. Oh, my life is so bad. Then he asked, then he, cause like, here's what I'm, here's what I'm coming in with, they don't want help. Well, what can I do to help? I don't know. What do you mean don't fucking know? You know what it takes to get you in the, in, you know what it took you to get you there? Well, how do you want, how do you want help? Or, 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 they all, or these people who I can't stand. Everybody, the one who has to, when you see them, and, and you open your, and you try to be nice to them, you say, well, hey man, what's going on? Long, or, or lady, long time to see, what's up? And if, the first five seconds, it's, you, you can tell, well, I, everything's not been so great. And then you know it's over with. Because you know for the next hour, you got to hear about their problems. Not that you don't have any problems, but this is just like, really? If every time I hear the, if, let me put it this way, if every time I talk to you and you got a problem, you're the problem. You want to sit around, uh, like I said, a lot of these people were letting the government dictate their life because they took the okie doke from the government. If you've taken any type of subsidies, any type of monies from the government, and you expect the government to take care of you, you're stupid. There's nothing I can tell. Not, I can't look like, for a while. This is like my over 500 video, and I have to be honest with you. A lot of you people are just plain stupid. Like I said, if you keep walking to a sinkhole and you break your leg, what, 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 does, what does a smart person do? They walk around the sinkhole or they go, no, go near the fucker. What do you, a lot of you guys do? You walk in a sinkhole, you break your other leg. Oh, how you doing? Well, I don't know. I keep walking in the sinkhole, keep breaking my body parts. Wonder why? You're stupid. Here's what you need to do. Instead of running your yaps on Insta on Instagram, or on Facebook, or on Twitter, and YouTube looking stupid, why don't you do some research and look up stuff? And a lot of you say, well, the internet, the internet this, look man, regardless of what you say about the internet, that's the future. Regardless of what you say about the internet, universities are going that route. You're going, a lot of you, almost all universities are offering degrees online. So a lot of you ignorant, stupid bastards, which ignorant and stupid are two different things for y'all that don't know that. For a lot of you ignorant, stupid bastards, you better learn how to use technology because there's people who are my age who should, who should know, you should know the basics of the internet. If the, if the basics of the internet, you know, is on your cell phone, then you got fucking bigger issues. You got more issues than, than Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. That's all I'm saying. If, you, if, you, if your ignorance overtakes your intelligence, it's not my fault. If you want to be stupid, be stupid. I have no problem. With it. Look, look. If 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 pigs want to wallow in shit and it makes them happy, I'm fine with that. But don't come back later when it bites you in the ass. And you won't complain about it because at the end of the day, you drew them straws. Look, if I drew the short straw, I'd find a way to get the big fucking straw 
Well, I got the big straw mentality. So if I draw the short straw, I'm like, nah, I ain't selling for this shit. I will do what I have to do to get where I want to go. But a lot of these people don't want to work. You got a million excuses. Oh, well, look, man, I, I lent somebody 10 fucking dollars. Now, now, 10 dollars ain't shit. It depends on perspective. But to somebody $10, like to a little five-year-old kid, they get $10, look, man, I hate the lottery. But for me, if somebody, if somebody had a story, you know, they, they needed $10 for gas, so I said, I gave them $10. And here's what I kept hearing for the next fucking three months. Look, man, I have your $10. I'm like, well, what are you telling me you have my $10 for? Fucking give it to me. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not saying this because I'm trying, like, not to be that type of way in 2015. And these people keep telling you this. Well, I have your money. Well, you knew where I was whenever you borrowed the money, right? Now you don't know where I'm at when you got to give it back to me? And then, you know, but like I said, I go by the principle what my parents always taught me. I don't sweat the $10. Like I said, $10 ain't nothing for me. I mean, it's just nothing. I mean, it's like, it's like, it's like throwing it away. I don't sweat money, but you know what? Because I don't, I don't, let me, let me, how, how do I put this? It's the way my parents put it. Don't worry, don't lend money that you can't stand to lose. So that $10, I was like, whatever, man, it's $10. Is, it, is that $10 going to make or break me? No. But the, my point is, I just get mad when you, and I know others are like this. People, I get mad when I hear somebody say, well, I have your money. And I'm like, well, fucking bring it over here. <laughs> you know? You, you knew where you knew where I was living whenever you needed ten dollars. Now, so now, son, you want to play fucking GPS on me? Oh, I forget where you live. You fucking bastards, man. This is why I, I give up on a lot of people. And it, my my policy for 2015 is I help doers. If you're a dreamer, like I said, that's, this is one of the biggest problems of the black community. You got to look, look at little girls. They look in the mirror and they see a princess. But the fact of the matter is, what are you doing to get to be a princess? Or you see these guys that think they're a king. What are you doing to get to be a king? Just because you're looking around and you see a king, that don't make it so. You have to do something to go there. So, this is just a video where I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of stuff on like social media that's reflecting back because I gotta answer these questions from other people. So, if you wanna remain ignorant and stupid, that's your business. But don't cry about it later when it comes to bite you in the ass. Alright? Peace.